think that this means that it's on. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I think we're going to be doing service three in case you want to queue up. We got more kids here. Can I tell you something for the kids? Because I don't know if you remember. For if you are under the age of 13, this includes gringuses. Gringuses, I'm talking to you. If you're, <laughs> if you're under the age of 13, then remember that we have distraction books in the back. Did you know that? If you look under the Star of David by the stairs, we've got books that are really cool for you to look at that you can read during the service. Don't tell the grown-ups because then they'll all want one too. <laughs> and we don't have enough to go around. But the kids under 13 can go get those books and you can share them with each other and pass them around again. And, and then the grown-ups are happy because the kids are doing other fun things. But I, I forget to tell you we've got that. And I've, been, I've got experimental, um, I call them distraction toys. I've got experimental distraction toys in my office that I don't always bring out. Because sometimes things that you think of, having a kid sit there play quietly is not as quiet as you think. <laughs> I keep using these things that are like magnetic <laughs> games so that the pieces are all enclosed and you don't lose them. And then they go <laughs> So anyway, so actually, while we're talking about distraction things, um, I'm, I know that sometimes you say, oh, we don't want to talk about the Torah portion on Friday night because you're going to talk about it Saturday anyway. And, um, but there are some really cool things about the Torah portion that really match what's going on in the world today. Some of them don't exactly match, but, they were, but there are things that I wanted to just kind of talk about for a second. So we're about to... We're about to light candles, as you know, to welcome Shabbat. And the Torah portion is called Beha'alotecha, which means, the way they translate it is about the lighting of the candles. It's, a, it's, inform, it's instruction to Aaron, the high priest, about how he's supposed to light the menorah. And so the word that they use for lighting the menorah is not Leha'adlikner, Leha'adlikner. That's the wording we use for lighting the candle, which means to light the candle. But that's not the words they use in the Torah portion. It's beha'alotecha. So have you ever heard of the word aliyah or an aliyah? It has to do with going up. If you're a new immigrant to Israel, if you're a guy, you're an ole. If you're a girl, you're an ola. And it has to do with going up. And it has to do with a higher thing. And so I was, and it, but it's in a, it's a verb form that causes something to be higher up. And that's, what it, that's the word that they use for lighting the menorah. And I just, I loved that. I thought that was a really sweet thing because I presume you've done this. I can't imagine that I'm the only one who does this. But when the candles are lit, whether they're Shabbat candles or Hanukkah candles or a, a Shiva candle, um, you can't do it for quite as long with a birthday candle. But I watch them, I watch them dance. And I don't know if you've ever noticed that, and I, I know you know this, but because of the word that it uses about going up, that the flame always goes up. And so here we are about to light candles, and we're thinking about how it's raising us up to a higher kind of an experience. I love that. I mean, you know, I love the word parts. But there was another thing that struck me about the Torah portion. The Torah portion jumps around. There's an awful lot of things that it does. And, and it's just bouncing in some ways. <laughs> but one of the things it does is that it instructs also that they have to hammer out these horns, silver horns, and they have to blow the horns. And just tell me if you think you'd be able to figure this out, that if they blow two horns, then all of the people are supposed to come to the tent of meeting. But if they blow only one horn, <laughs> then only the leaders are supposed to come. <clears throat> Would you be able to tell the difference between if one horn and two horns were blowing? I am very impressed that it thinks that we could have done that. I'm very impressed by that. And I, the only thing I could imagine is maybe the horns were like in two different parts of town or something. Then how did they coordinate it? Um, you know, I'm about to go to Jacob's camp to visit our campers. And I don't know if you've ever been to summer camp, but one of the coolest things is Shabbat. 
because at least in the experiences that I had, and, and I don't know that they're all doing it like this still, but the song leaders would go to the cabins, like the farthest cabin, and they would start singing a song, bim, bom, bim, 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 bom, with the guitar, and the little kitties would all follow, and soon you've got, you know, like a Pied Piper kind of a thing. Everybody's following you singing these Shabbat songs. Maya, fe, hayom, and everybody's dressed all in white, and you see this sea of people. And we have more than one song leader, if, if you're a bigger camp than when I started, but now we have song leaders for each unit, and they're all singing together, and they come together at a courtyard, and then they all are singing together. So I pictured something like that. The, that everybody is in a different place and you could tell and they all gather together. Anyway, there were things about the Torah portion that excited me because of how they are parallel to things that are going on today. Um, the ones that I saved for you for later are funnier. Let's just put it that way. Um, <laughs> so it has been a long week and it's going to be a long week and I'm going to need all the rest I can get this Shabbat so I'm going to invite you to take a breath with me, at least one, and relax. Let off out all of the stress of the week. And try it again. It helps. It really helps. Now, two little birdies told me <laughs> that we have a, a couple here who are celebrating their 43rd wedding anniversary and that this couple got married here, I mean over here, but in the Lefkowitz Hall. I remembered hearing detailed stories about the steps that had to get built to get onto the, the, the stage, because they didn't come from the side. She's a bride after all. She's getting to the center. Anyway, we don't always assign people to bless the candles, but I have asked that the Robisons, who have been married for 43 short years, would come up and help us bless the candles. So we'll start on page 82, and if it's comfortable for you to stand and sit, please stand. And would the Robisons please join us? We'll be on 82. And since I just picked on them today, they had no chance to practice. So I'll, I'll remind you what you're doing. So as you're walking over there, I'll say quietly, start at the top of the page, talk into the microphone, start at the top of the page and work your way to the bottom. These lights are only flickering flames, yet flames illumine our uncertain steps. Flames remind us of Sabbaths long past and of their beauty that delighted our hearts. May they inspire us to work for the great Sabbath of peace. You can say it in English if you want, or Hebrew, go for it. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav b'tzivanu lahadlik ne'er shel shabbat. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, Sovereign of the universe, you hallow us with your mitzvot and command us to kindle the Sabbath lights. And before we sing, I just was saying, thinking, at anniversaries especially, when you think about the flames reminding us of Sabbaths long past, how many times have you guys been together and lighting Shabbat candles through the years? It's just awesome to think about <laughs> at an anniversary. It reminds us of all those Sabbaths and the flickering flames that tied together with raising up light and holiness. And we pray, we bless the candles one more time. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kishanu b'mitzvotah, v'tzivanu lehadlik ne, lehadlik ne, shel shabbat. We raise each other up by lighting those candles. I love that. We're going to turn to page 167 and 166. And at the bottom of 167, you're going to do that one line in Hebrew. Open up, lift up the cup. Okay. See, so you didn't get to practice. Wait, lift up your cup. Oh. Yeah. He's nervous about having to read to us. Yeah. The bottom of 167, you do one line in Hebrew. And then at the top of 166, you do all the English. Okay. Wait, right, the bottom of 167, okay. 66. Well, Rukata Adonai Lehenu Melakalam, Bore Kri Hargafen. Amen. Now at the top of 166. 
We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You call us to holiness with the mitzvah of Shabbat, the sign of your love, a reminder of your creative work, and our liberation from Egyptian bondage. Our day of days, on Sabbath especially, we hearken to your call to serve you as a holy people. We praise you, O oh God, for the holiness of Shabbat. Amen. L'chaim, drink it. <laughs> you can always count on him to get choked up when he reads this. There's not enough to share. He wasn't trying to be mean. <laughs> they put this much in there. You may be seated if you say Shabbat Shalom to someone sitting next to you and someone you didn't come in with. Make sure everybody gets a Shabbat Shalom, please. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We turn back in our prayer books to page 83. And I know we do this service a lot for a good reason, because it's short and we like to get out of here quickly. <laughs> it's true. But um, each time I do it, I see different things in it. And I think you're going to realize why I chose this one, because of some of the things that are going on in the world today. There are days when we seek material things and measure failure by what we do not own. On Shabbat, we wish not to acquire, but to share. And I'm not sure where Brexit fits into that paragraph. I'm just trying to figure that out. We're now on 84. There are days when we exploit nature with reckless greed. On Shabbat, we stand in wonder before the mystery of creation. And I'm sad to say that this reminds us of what just happened in West Virginia. The flooding, we've lost. Last I saw, right, it was 20 people, and they know that there's probably more. Um, the mystery of creation can be a wonderful, awesome thing. Awesome goes in both directions, and, it's, um, and our prayers are with them. There are days when we think only of ourselves. On Shabbat, we open our hearts to the needs of others. Therefore, we welcome Shabbat. Day of rest, day of joy, day of peace. And we welcome the angels that remind us that we can be joyful even in the middle of all of this. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Akadosh Baruch Hu. Bolachem Shalom, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim. Akadosh Baruch Hu Baruch Hu Ni Lishalom Malachi Hashalom Malachi Elyon Mi Melech Malachi Hamlachim Akadosh Baruch Hu Tzaytahem Lishalom Malachi Hashalom Malachi So if you're ever looking for a safe place to be, the synagogue is the sanctuary of Israel. Born of our longing for the living God, it has been to Israel throughout our wanderings a visible token of the presence of God in our people's midst. Its beauty is the beauty of holiness. Steadfast it has stood as the champion of justice, mercy, and peace. Its truths are true for all people. Its love is a love for all people. Its God is the God of all people. As it has been said, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Let all the family of Israel, all who hunger for righteousness, all who seek the eternal, find God here, and here find life. Hit kadal ve hit kadash me raba. Amen. Be alma di vrachirute, viam lich machute. Be chayechon uviomechon, 
ובחייל כל בית ישראל. בעגלה, בעגלה, ובזמן קריב, ואמרו אמן. יהש מרה במברך, לעלם למעל מעל מאיה, יתברך. יתברך וישתבח, ויתפאר ויתרומם וינשא, ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל, שמי דקודשה פריחו לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה. תוש וחטא ולחם אתה, דם עירון בעלמה, ואמרו אמן. ברכו את אדוני המבורך, ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. Oh God, how can we know you? Where can we find you? You are as close to us as breathing, yet you are farther than the farthermost star. You are as mysterious as the vast solitudes of night, yet as familiar to us as the light of the sun. To Moses you said, you cannot see my face, but I will make all my goodness pass before you. Even so does your goodness pass before us in the realm of nature and in the joys and sorrows of life. When justice burns within us like a flaming fire, when love evokes willing sacrifice from us, when to the last full measure of selfless devotion we demonstrate our belief in the ultimate triumph of truth and righteousness, then your goodness enters our lives and we can begin to change the world. And then you live within our hearts and we through righteousness behold your presence. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kehud Machuto Leolam Echad You may be seen did unless you are Debbie or David you get to stand up and do the Vahavta for us yes you do this these are our B'nai Torah people open it up and they're going to be leading us in just a few weeks and this is what I do with our kids too is that I make you stand in front of everybody <laughs> even the tall ones you can stand with stand with her that would be nicer okay ready Vahavta את אדוני אלוהיך, וכל רבך, ובכל נפשך, ובכל מאודיך, והיו הדברים האלה, אשר אנוכי מצווך היום על לבביך, ושיננתם לבניך, ודיברת בם. בשבתך בביתך, ובלכתך בדרך, ובשוכבך ובקומך, ושרתם לאות על ידיך, והיו לטוטפות בין עיניך, וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך, ובשעריך. למען תזכרו, ועשיתם את כל מצוותי, והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם לאלוהים. אני Adonai Eloheichem. Adonai Eloheichem. Maybe next time they'll be ready to face you when they do it. Ah. We, cont we continue reading in English. You shall love your, your eternal, eternal God, God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your being. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way. 
when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am your eternal God who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. So we go back to the two trumpets problem. And I can tell you that if you were listening to this with your eyes closed or online, you would know when Virginia is leading or when I was leading. You could tell the difference. And the truth is trumpets have different sounds too. <laughs> so I think you'd be able to tell if there was one or two trumpets playing, even if they were trying to play in unison, just like when we try to sing in unison. <laughs> and what I would like to do with this is be the two trumpets and we're gonna divide the room. This half is going to lead and this half will follow. I, <laughs> the eternal one, have called you to righteousness and taken you by the hand and kept you. I have made you a covenant people, a light to the nations. We are Israel, witness to the covenant between God and God's children. This is the covenant I make with Israel. I will place my Torah in your midst and write it upon your hearts. I will be your God and you shall be my people. We are Israel. Our Torah forbids the worship of race or nation, possessions or power. You who worship gods that cannot save you, hear the words of the Eternal One. I am God, there is none else. We are Israel. Our prophets proclaimed an exalted vision for the world. Hate evil and love what is good. Let justice well up as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. We are Israel, schooled in the suffering of the oppressed. You shall not oppress your neighbors nor rob them you shall not stand idle while your neighbor bleeds. Our Israel, taught to beat swords into plowshares, commanded to pursue peace. Violence shall no longer be heard in your land, desolation and destruction within your borders. All your children will be taught of your God, and great shall be the peace of your children. We are Israel, O God, when we are witnesses to your love and messengers of your truth. You are my witnesses, says the Eternal One, and my servant whom I have chosen. Know me, therefore, and put your trust in me. We are Israel, O God, when we proclaim you, God, our Redeemer, as did as our ancestors, ancestors on the shores of the Red Sea. Nora te hilot, o sefele, nora te hilot, o sefele. Malchutecha, rauvanecha, bokei ayam, lifne moshe, zelianu veameru, Adonai. Adonai Leolam V'ne'emar, and it has been said, the Eternal One delivered Jacob and redeemed us from the hand of one stronger than ourselves. Baruch atah Adonai, Ga'al Yisrael. We praise you, O God, Redeemer of Israel. May we lie down this night in peace and rise up to life renewed. O oh God, spread over us your shelter of peace, of quiet and calm, and bless us with rest. And let a time come when morning will bring no word of war or famine or anguish, a time of happiness, of contentment and rest. Baruch atah Adonai, haporei sukkat shalom, aleinu va'al kol amo Yisrael va'al Yerushalayim. We give thanks for the night and its rest and the promise of peace for all the world. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
for the tefillah, which begins on page 93. <laughs> Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu ve'elohe avoteinu v'imoteinu Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Leha, Elohe Rachel Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor ha'nora El Elyon gomer ha'sadim tovim Ve'konei ha'kohol וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימהות, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם, למען שמו באהבה. מלך עוזר ומשיע ומגן, ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה. God of all generations, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, of Sarah, Rebecca, Leah and Rachel, be praised. Your wondrous creative power fills heaven and earth. God of life and death, be praised. Through us, send help to the falling, healing to the sick, freedom to the captive. Confirm your faithfulness to those who sleep in the dust. Awesome and holy God, be praised. With acts of love and truth, we hallow your name. As it is said, be holy, for I, your eternal God, am holy. God of times and seasons, be praised. Enable us through Sabbath rest to explore and learn and impart the meanings of your Torah. Make our hearts ready to serve you this day and all days. God who answers prayer, be praised. May we, your people Israel, be worthy in our deeds and our prayers wherever we live. Wherever we seek you, in this land, in Zion restored, in all lands, you are our God. Source of life and its wonders, be praised. You are the miracle within all we behold. You are goodness. You are compassion. We give thanks to you forever. Read with me, please. God of peace, peace of justice, justice, and of and love, love, be, be praised. praised. Inspire, Inspire us to banish forever, forever. Hatred, hatred, war, war and, and bloodshed. bloodshed. Help, Help us to establish forever one human family united, united in peace. peace. God, God of, of peace, peace. Bless, bless us with, with peace. peace. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki Ata U Melech Adon Lechol HaShalom Ki Ata U Melech Adon Lechol HaShalom 
Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Beto Be'necha Levaret Et Amcha Yisrael Be'chol Shalom Rabba Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rabba Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Tassim Le'olam Tassim a moment of silence so that we can pray the prayers that are in our hearts. Yehiu l'ratzon le the word of my mouth. Imre fi vehegion libi and the meditations of my heart. Lefanecha be acceptable to you. Lefanecha. Be acceptable to you. Adonai Tzuri, Tzuri Vigohali, my rock and my redeemer. Adonai Tzuri, This time in our service, our hearts and our prayers turn to those who are ill and recuperating as we turn to the inside back cover of our prayer book, included in our prayers. For all these names, for the names we choose to hold in our hearts and not say out loud, we pray together. O oh God, God, in, in our, our hearts we name those who are facing illness and pain. We, we join, join our, our prayers, prayers with the prayers, prayers of all who love them. them. Give, Give them renewed comfort, comfort and courage. courage. Strengthen in them, them the healing powers you have placed within us all. Guide the hands and hearts of those who are entrusted with their care. May, May the, the knowledge, knowledge of your love and, and ours give, give added hope to them, to them and, to and to their dear ones. May, May they, they find even greater strength because our prayers are linked to theirs. 
Baruch Ata Adonai, Rofei HaCholim. We praise you, eternal God, the source of healing and health. And we add, Mishaberach Avotenu V'Imotenu, may the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those whom we have entrusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom and protecting us in this country, in the land of Israel, and everywhere they have been called to serve. May they return home safely. And let us say, Amen. Amen. So I got to tell you some tidbits about the Torah portion because it really does parallel some of the things that are going on today. Um, if you remember in last week's episode, I was trying to tell you that there are sometimes laws that God gave us that I think were exaggerated intentionally to show us that they were ridiculous. And I think that the theme of exaggerated and ridiculous continues this week. Uh, this week, for example, people complained to Moses. You know what they complained about? They complained that they wished they had the kind of fish, watermelons, cucumbers, leeks that they had in Egypt. That's ridiculous. When they were slaves, that's ridiculous. Why are they complaining about that? They're free now. They have mana and it tastes like anything they want it to taste like. Yum. So Moses talks to God and says, God, they're driving me crazy. Just mm -hmm. kill me now. <laughs> they sound like teenagers, if you ask me. You ever know, you know, a kid, oh, I can't, you know, just kill me now. I can't. They sound ridiculous. <laughs> just kill me now. I don't want to do this anymore. I can't take this anymore. I think it's ridiculous and exaggerated. So God answers by sending so many quails that the people start eating quails and the quails start coming out of their nose and out of their mouths. And while they're still eating the quail and they still see it coming out of their nose and their mouth because they're eating so much, God says, zap. And a whole bunch of the complainers get zapped. I think all of those are exaggerated stories. Just like the parents of teenagers will say things like, I will chop off your fingers and feed them to your goldfish if you ever say that again. There's always exaggerations <laughs> on both sides. I think that that's the way. No, huh? Your parents, you never did that. My parents never did that either. My parents never, see, my fingers are all here. My parents never did that. But there are times when you get to the point where you feel like at your wit's end. And they're doing that in this Torah portion. Moses gets talked to by his brother and his sister, and they exaggerate about the way he's treating his wife. And they exaggerate about, well, how come we don't get to be more of a leader? If you get to talk to God, we want to talk to, we talk to God, how come you get to be? The I think that was an exaggeration too. And, and by the way, it doesn't end in this Torah portion. It keeps going for weeks and weeks <laughs> to come. We're going to keep hearing it for years. weeks. This, and it's, I mean, I hate to say, I kind of enjoy it. It's kind of fun <laughs> to listen to these exaggerations um, because sometimes we feel that way. Sometimes we get to a point where we want to complain a lot. And the beauty of it is we can. We can complain. If we are opening our eyes during the day and we hear anything about what's going on in the political scene right now, it's like just one exaggeration and boing to the other exaggeration. There's, it's, you know, there's got to be a reality in the middle of here somewhere. But the part that I love about Torah and these exaggerations and the fact that maybe they're real and we can learn lessons from it, one of the things that we show at the very end of this, in all of these exaggerations, is that there's a law that God has repeated a bunch of times already. It's obviously important, and it's Passover. God tells us twice within a few paragraphs, and this is months ago, how important Passover is. And so what happens if you can't keep Passover? And God tells you that it's really important. So that's what happens at the end of all of this exaggerated stuff. Well, you said it's important and I just couldn't do it. I was traveling. I was, I had just, you know, I was in the contact with the dead body and I couldn't bring my offerings and I just couldn't do it. So I couldn't do it. And you said it was important, but I couldn't do it. So I couldn't do it. And God said, you know what? It is important. So I'm going to give you a second chance. And there's this 
there's a holiday. If you look on your Jewish calendar, it's there. It's called Pesach Sheni, or the second Passover. And it happens about a month later for anybody who couldn't do the first Passover. You know, sometimes I could use an extra month. I should think about that. <laughs> but so that it, there, and I think that that's part of what happens here, that there are times when things feel really exaggerated. But then when it's important, we can be reasonable about what's going on. And I think the laws work like that too. I think the laws really are reasonable laws. And, um, and I love that. I love that about the process. I also have fun with the exaggerations. I can't lie about that. So, all right, let me tell you what's going on today. Um, so tomorrow we have regular Torah study. We'll continue this story. It will be fun, let me just tell you. Um, but then on Sunday, Helene and Bill and a bunch of Bethany, a bunch of us, uh, the teachers, a lot of the religious school, Cantor, other teachers are going to Jackson, Mississippi for an Institute of Southern Jewish Life education conference. We are using their curriculum and we're supposed to go and it's really a wonderful thing to do. Um, I'm not exaggerating <laughs> because you get to meet with other people who are doing the same things as you. They bring in special guest leaders and you get inspired by being with other people and it's a wonderful few day thing. Um, it ends on Tuesday. Some people are coming home, some people are traveling on around. I'm traveling to Jacob's camp at Utica, Mississippi on Tuesday and I'll get to see our campers there. Some of you have campers and we have, we have a bunch of campers there right now. I try to go every session and um, I will be back in time for Wednesday. I'm having these really wonderful discussion groups at the Oaks in the ballroom tower at two o'clock on the last Wednesday of every month. And we, are, we pose a bunch of ethical dilemmas and we think about what would we do. And uh, we learn what a Jewish way of thinking about those dilemmas is. And it's been, it's been really an interesting group. Uh, it's, it's fun to hear and almost everybody seems to have some kind of an experience that seems to be a way to, uh, to add to our discussion about these ethical dilemmas. And you're welcome to come, two o'clock this Wednesday at the Oaks. Um, and next Friday night, it is the first of the month of July, so we'll have Simcha Shabbat. So if you all have a birthday or an anniversary in July, or you know somebody uh, who does, or you don't and you just like to have cake for Oneg Shabbat, please come join us to help us celebrate. Um, obviously the office will be closed on the 4th of July in celebration of the federal holiday. And it's coming up soon, July 8th, Friday night, regular time, six o'clock services. The dynamic duo of David and Debbie are going to be leading us in services and they're going to be reading from the Torah and they've been practicing very hard and they want to celebrate and show off, I guess, to you. And that's not an exaggeration, they're good at this. Um, so please join us. Uh, we've been calling it a B'nai Torah, children of the Torah, to kind of show that they're not doing the same thing that a 13-year-old does. Um, donations were made to B'nai Zion or for pulpit flowers in memory of Janice Kahn by the Kahn family, in memory of H. Leo Gringas and Rose Murov by Donna and Randy Gringas and Shirley Seligman and family, in memory of Louis Lobel by Dorothy and Bernard Lobel, in memory of Mitchell Neustadt by Molly and Mitch Neustadt, in memory of Maurice Scheinberg by Ma Mimi Mer Merriam, and in commemoration of Yvette and Mara Somer's wedding anniversary by Kathy and Michael Somer. And I wanted to thank our anniversary duo for lighting the candles, especially on short notice, but sharing, because there's something special about, I really did get this sense of all of these Shabbats before us, and now it was really beautiful, so I appreciate that. So at this time in our service, I call anyone who's under the age of 13 and is still awake to please come up and help me open up the ark, and everybody else turns to page 148, and they get ready to stand when the ark is open. Page 148. Come on up. Come on. Come on, come on. Please, I need somebody to open the ark. I don't know if you noticed. I didn't bring my walker up here, but I could use some help. Are you coming? You're not sleeping. Come on up. Help us open the ark. Please. Okay. Come on up. Everybody else stand up. Yeah, but between us, we're over like 4,030. So you ready? 
You open the tree. <laughs> please open the tree. tree yeah. And when the tree is open, please rise. Ready? Go. Okay. Good. Everybody, Go. open. Anytime now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nice. Good. Thank you. Come on around in here. And when they close the tree, <laughs> you may be seated. Thank you, guys. It's good to have you back. Uh, the other ones are hiding. I'll tell you why. I need some fist bumps because it's an honor to do this. Pinky bump. Pinky bump. Bump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got three different fist bumps, and that was not an exaggeration. You may be seated. We continue on page 150. The day will come when all shall turn with trust to you, O God, hearkening to your voice, bearing witness to your truth. Please join me. We pray, we pray with, with all, all our hearts. hearts. Let, Let violence be gone. gone. Let the day come soon when, when evil shall give way to goodness, when, when war shall be forgotten, and all at last shall live in freedom. O source, source of life, life may, may we, created in your image, embrace one another in friendship, in friendship and in joy. Then shall we be one family, and then shall your sovereignty be established on earth, and the word of your prophet fulfilled. The eternal God will reign forever and ever. On that day, O oh God, you shall be one, and your name shall be one. Bayom ha'hu, bayom ha'hu, yiyeh Adonai echad. Ushimu, ushimu, ushimu echad. Our thoughts Turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. We hold in our hearts those people who have lost their lives because of the flooding. We lost two officers of the law this week. We lost Deputy Sheriff David Michel. He was shot and killed while trying to subdue a subject. Deputy Michelle had served with the Jefferson Paris, Parish Louisiana Sheriff's Office for nine years. He's survived by his wife and his father. And we lost Sergeant Stacy Baumgartner, who was killed when an SUV collided with his patrol car while he was pursuing a suspect. An 11-year-old child in this SUV was also killed, and several other occupants injured were injured in the crash. The driver of the vehicle that was fleeing returned to the scene of the crash where he was arrested and charged with murder and intoxicated manslaughter. Sergeant Baumgartner is survived by his wife, son, and daughter. As we remember them, let us meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. We turn to page 153. Life is finite, like a candle, it burns, it glows, it is radiant with warmth and beauty, then it fades, its substance is consumed, and it is no more. In light we see, in light we are seen. The flames dance and our lives are full, but as night follows day, the candle of our life burns down in gutters. There's an end to the flames. We see no more and are no more seen. Yet we do not despair, for we are more than a memory slowly fading into the darkness. With our lives, we give life. Something of us can never die. We move in the eternal cycle of darkness and death, of light and life. However brief may be our time on earth, O oh God, you endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. We now recall the loved ones whom death has taken from us this past month. Remember Jay Glazer 
and I don't know that it, you saw that Sandra Baron Wiener, uh, was, they had a service for her today. She died on the 21st. Um, as we remember those who died in this past year, who are parents of our congregants, we remember Mimi Hussey, Dr. Sidney Solomon Slutsky, Dr. Donald Rosen, Morris Somer, Dr. Lowry Vasca, Yvette Bell Somer, Val Gold, Anna Vinsky, Rhoda Gold, Ira Katz, and Delbert Plant. In this moment of memory, uh, we also remember, sorry, those for whom we're observing your sites this week. And that includes Warner E. Berg, Janice Kahn, Henry Clark, Dora Fain, Fritz Glazer, Gregory Glover, H. Leo Gringus, Albert Dick Guggenheim, Lee Hertzberg Jr., Rosa Sauer Katzenstein, Louis E. Kern, Ruth Vedlitz Kraus, Leah Labo, Woody Levin, Etta Levy, Louis Lobel, Rose Murov, Mitchell Neustadt, Morris Rubin, Maurice Scheinberg, Judy Sklar Silberstein, Vernon Wesley Sinclair, Sig Spitzer, Joseph Paul Stewart, Donald Paul Weiss, and Friedler J. Zuzek. And am I saying, is it Janice or Janice? Can. It was Janice, and I said it wrong before. I'm sorry. I'm so yeah, sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. I, I'm, I tried to get it right. Janice Can. I don't know that I messed up any name, but after I read that one, I kept saying, no, that's not right. I'm sorry. In this moment of memory, our griefs and sympathies are mingled. Loving God, we rise as together we praise your name. The Mourner's Kaddish is on 154 and the English translation is on 155. <speaking in Hebrew> Yehei Shemei Rabbah Mevarach La'alam Wa'amei Almayah. Yitbarach V'yishtabach V'yitpa'ah V'yitromam V'yitnaseh. V'yithadar V'yithalei V'yithalal Shemei Tekutsha B'richu. La'elam min kol birchata V'shirata. Tush b'chata V'nechemata. Da'amiran B'alma B'imru. Amen. Yehei Shalama Rabbah Min Shemaya. V'chaim Aleinu V'akol Yisrael. Vimru, Amen. O se shalom vimromav, hu ya se shalom, aleinu v'alko Yisrael. Vimru, Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved. Amen. You may be seated. I feel like singing. I'm going to call everybody who's under the age of 13 back up, though. Come on over. It's time for Chala. Everyone should want to come up for that one. Come on. <laughs> It's Chala <laughs> Come on. Come on, it's bread. You come in. Come. Come. <laughs> come. They'll help you. They'll help you. No. All right, ready? Come stand over here in the middle. Hold on to the bed. Hold on to the bottom. Oh, face this way. Nope, not the bottom of that. The bottom of the plate. There you go. <laughs> nice try. You get it now. Anyway. All right, Tim, turn on this microphone. And we say... Amotzi Latin Haaretz, we give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hamotzi Lechem Im Haaretz, Bateavon. All right, I hold the bottom and you all grab some bread. Grab, grab. Take and share it, Fred. There you go. And you can take the rest of mom and dad and share it with other people. <laughs> I don't know. If David's Won been good, prize. you can give it to David. It's up to you guys. <laughs> David has more back there for the grown-ups. You don't have to give it to the grown-ups. You can get some later. Please rise for the closing benediction. I'm not going back upstairs. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. It is a blessing for us to be here together, and I am not exaggerating that. May God bless you. May God protect you. May the light of God's face shine upon you, be gracious to you. 
May God's face be lifted up to you. May God grant you peace. Shabbat shalom.